The decarbonization transition is largely a, a technology transition. In Europe, we've seen that 70% of the decarbonization can be driven by 15 technologies, or around 4% of Europe's GDP is required every year put into those 15 technologies. That is 15 massive markets that are being created that didn't exist or are being accelerated. It's huge. I'm an optimist. I'm actually very excited about the technology innovation potential, but we're gonna have to now all come together. We're gonna have to put the best engineering minds on the planet to tackle some of these challenges. Five, six, seven years ago, we didn't think hydrogen was actually a big part of the solution. It is today. We look at what happened to solar and electric vehicle, the cost curves on these technology has gone down massively. One of the technologies we probably don't talk enough about as a technology is Mother Nature. Incredible technology to help us in the net zero equation. We're certainly seeing clients come with a lot of focus on carbon, but increasing focus on circularity, on biodiversity, on water, especially in the consumer and, and, and retail sectors. You need to master the capex side of the equation and build cheaper and cheaper and cheaper so costs come down. You need to be able to secure demand with large customers so you can de-risk the investment and get the capital. And you need to build capabilities in the technology areas faster than you've ever done before. The challenge in my mind is how you manage that transition at scope and scale required to drive capital allocation of something like $5 trillion a year. To pull that off is going to require enormous planning and thoughtfulness and engagement from both the public and the private sector. This all needs to happen at a speed that is unparalleled. We built this economy in 200 years. We're going to have to change it radically from top to bottom over the next 30. 